Hey, it's Troy here, and welcome to the shop on Tackle Tip Tuesday. Well, it's a beautiful day here in the Midwest, but it's a little cold, so the heat's on behind me. It's a great day to be here in the shop and to share a tip with you. Now, I want to share with you how you can revive an old crankbait that may have a damaged finish. Now, I'm not talking about one that has some wear and tear from fishing with them. I've talked about them in the past, and we know they really catch more fish when they get a little, little seasoned, as I like to say. But this one here, let me show it to you, is a severely damaged Cordell spot. It's lost a lot of its finish. Now, this isn't really from fishing. Uh, this was a bad adhesion from the product itself, and it's coming loose. So the bait has lost about half of its finish. Uh, actually, I'm losing some right here while I'm shooting this video. It just came off my hand. So it's like, there's some more right there. So, I mean, it's crumbling away. So I'm going to show how you can save this lure and use it another day with a great new finish. Something you can do as long as you have just a little bit of patience, a little lighter, and you'll be set to go. So check this out. We're going to do it right now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a product called Crank Wraps. I've used Crank Wraps before. Great product. Check them out, crankwraps.com. Uh, what we're going to do on this is we're going to apply this Crank Wrap. It's like a wrap for a lure. And we're going to apply the sunfish on this old crankbait right here. Again, this crankbait's perfectly fine. There's no cracks or anything else in this crankbait. It just has a bad finish. So we're going to revive it. And there goes the heat. The heat just turned off. Uh, and we're going to put this new sunfish finish on there. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's done. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to take the hooks off, the split rings off, get the rest of the finish off, scuff it. And uh, you really don't have to scuff it, but I'm going to scuff it since I'm at a clean slate. And, uh, and I'm also going to paint them eyes. I'm going to paint those eyes red. Uh, before I put the uh, put the uh, wrap on there, and then uh, that way when I go to wrap it, uh, the eyes are already all done. I don't have to worry about trying to cut them in around the wrap. So here we go. Okay, so I got the finish off. It actually came off really easy like I thought it would. There was a couple areas where I had to scrape a little harder with the razor blade, but most of it came off very easy. Uh, actually, this color could be used just like this. Really, we don't even have to wrap this. I have some almond off-white colored... Uh, uh, rattle traps and Cordell spots in my tackle box now that have caught fish for me in the past. But this one here, we're going to go ahead and finish and do the wrap on this one. I want to do the sunfish on this with the red eyes. But it looks really cool like that, actually. Just thought I'd share that with you. I'm going to get back to it. Okay, so I got the red on the eyes, so check that out there. I'm not worried about being precise because the wrap will, will surround that. You'll see what I mean when I put the wrap on. So there are the eyes. It's painted red on both eyes. And uh, we're getting ready to put the wrap on here as soon as this dries. Okay, so check this out. Here we go. There is that sunfish finish from crank wraps on there, and that came out great. Now, this has new hooks and split rings. Uh, see where I painted the eye? The wrap itself had a circle area for the eye, so that formed the circle. All I had to do was make a rough uh, a, a covering of red, and I think it came out great. Now, these, sun, uh, these uh, crank wraps are actually uh, stretchable. You can heat and stretch them to form different baits because they're universal sized. So I, hate it. I had to heat it and stretch it for the length a little bit. And I heated it and stretched it a little bit to the height, but I didn't wrap it around the back. Around the back, I just ended up using a paint marker, a tester's paint marker, a gold brown, which goes really good with the colors on the side. And it's also a little shinier, so it gives a little extra flare and flash to it on the front there too. So I think that really is gonna, it blends well and it gives a little extra flash. And underneath the lip there, right underneath the front lip, uh, well, actually, this is a lipless crankbait, but underneath the front nose there, I did a little red also, the same uh, enamel as I did on the eyeballs. Came out great. Now, it's all dry and ready to go. I'm just holding it on here to show it to you. What's really neat, I was able to do this in about 20 minutes with these paint markers and with the crank wraps. Like, here's the crank wrap. I uh, pulled them off of there, so that's the ones that were on there. So it doesn't take long to do it. I keep split rings and hooks in stock. So check it out. And uh, let me know what you think of it. Let me Give me some feedback on it. Uh, check out crankwraps.com. they got some great products all over there. And, um, and, and then you can do this too for some of your old baits. Now you